If you are using Blender, then you probably understand that there are gaps in the user experience, especially for beginners. And that's because Blender offers lots and lots of tools and features, which makes it very hard to group them and present them in a simple and user-friendly way. You might say you can use the search feature to look for a specific tool and you are right, but doing so for every step of your modeling workflow is probably not optimal. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a Blender add-on which tackles that exact problem by making your workflow a lot faster when accessing different tools that Blender offers. So in a nutshell, Simply Fast is a Blender add-on that brings a collection of shortcuts and tools that are commonly used for mesh editing and rigging, as well as managing your lights in addition to cameras and even project settings. And it does this by packing all these tools right inside of its interface in the M panel. And it also gives you the ability to use a Pi menu that you can summon using your very own custom shortcuts. But I also advise you to use the main panel because it contains all of these tools. And what I find useful about this add-on is that the tools are displayed on the add-on's interface and they are context-based, meaning that different tools will be shown depending on the type of object that you have selected, as well as its current editing mode. And to give you an example, if I go into the solid mode and select any mesh in my scene, I get access to different tools when I select different objects. And now that you know how this add-on works, let me dive deeper into the tools and the menus that you have access to. And first things first, you will notice that even if you haven't selected any object, you are still gonna get a couple of tools to change your render engine, resolution, and your project's unit system, as well as some additional tools to show your stats, display face orientation, and even toggle your viewport to wireframe mode. The next thing to cover is when selecting an object, you will get a couple of controls to change its coordinates, location, rotation, and scale. You will also get a shade smooth and shade flat shortcut, and you can even change your object's materials. Additionally, you can use the fast mirror tool to mirror your object following a certain axis, and you can also rotate your object by 90 degrees following any desired axis, which is nice to have, but this is not everything. You will also get a couple of other tools to harden your object, make it into a shell, apply or remove modifiers, as well as some other tools to manage your materials by removing and nuking materials and material slots from your object. Enough of the object mode, and now let's go to the edit mode, where you can find a bunch of tools to manage your topology. You can adjust the bevel weight and select sharp edges, and you can also bevel, subdivide, and unsubdivide, shrink, or flatten your geometry. You can also get access to commonly used tools like the bridging tool, the random selection tool, and you can even set up a quick cloth sim using the fast cloth tool. But we are not done yet. You also get adds tools to mark and mark and select your seams, creases, and sharp edges. Additionally, you can even set the vertex colors for certain faces or vertices. And if you are into rigging, there is something for you too. When going into pose mode, you can change the name of your bones, in addition to the way you display them, and you can pick between pose and rest mode, change its parent, and so much more. Now, let's talk about lights. When you select your light, you will get tools to change where your light is gonna be pointing, and you can change its type, strength, and color. And you can also mess with other settings depending on the type of light that you decide to go with. The add-on also works with cameras, which enables you to change its rotation, camera type, focal length, shift settings, and even clipping options. Last but not least, the add-on comes with the option to get it with the material pack that contains a set of procedural materials which are fully customizable, which you can use directly within the Blender's asset library. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in Simply Fast, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.